of television invites you to join us as a group of outstanding experts meet the most unusual scientific challenge. Before them are brought strange and mysterious objects ranging from prehistoric times to the near present and gathered here especially from museums all over the world. Armed with their highly specialized knowledge in their various fields, our experts will attempt to pinpoint what in the world it is, where it's from, and when in time it's from. Our moderator is the distinguished director of the University Museum of the University of Pennsylvania, Dr. Furnick Rainey. Dr. Rainey. Good afternoon. Welcome to What in the World. Oh, stranger to What in the World. He's a professional sculptor from the Hastings on Hudson, an old friend on this program, Jacques Lipschitz. Good afternoon. And our <clears throat> third expert is a rather unusual uh, person for this program. Millions know him through his uh, fine performances on stage, screen, radio, and TV. But his other life is that of a collector of art objects, and that's what brings him to what in the world. He's now the lead of the new stage play, Black Eyed Susan, here in Philadelphia. Vincent Price. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> then, as I've said, these things come from storerooms of museums and not from exhibitions. They're being seen by our panel for the first time this afternoon. Well, let's have a look at the first object. This is Barry Castell, your off-stage voice. Our experts are confronted first with a wood carving in the form of a crocodile. It's from the Sepik River region of New Guinea and can be placed in time during the early 20th century. Well, Carl, you're a prior zoologist. Here's a good one for you to start out with. Oh, well, it's a story. I don't want to tell it or talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a crocodile. So it comes from tropical water. Mm. It's made of wood and it's painted red. And it's got a nice little thing that's been taken apart. It's good. Okay. Mm. What do you think it is it? Crocodile. It's from where it comes. Well, I think it comes yeah. from some place in Australia. Between Australia and Siam, don't you? Oh, I think so. Yeah. New Guinea. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. New Guinea. That's right, Vincent. Right. 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 New Guinea. Guinea. Yeah. Keep it clear, right? Good. Yeah, now, right. can you tell oh, us? Oh, you're good. Yeah, I've seen them before. <laughs> <laughs> I have a first-hand acquaintance oh, with oh, oh, yeah. But you saw a crocodile, but you maybe didn't see such a sculpture. It looks like almost like each eye. Yeah. Well, why do you say Sepik uh, River right off like that, Benson? Well, it's the, the carving and the use hey, of John, lime. Uh, yeah. um, oh, yeah. Painting. Use of lime right. in here. I saw one of those swim by where we were bathing in Melbourne Island. Really? Yeah. Nice. I'd rather see it this way. What is it, Jack? Well, uh, I think that Vincent is right. I mean, what's it used for? Uh, He's right. That's an interesting. That's like the Pacific River in New Guinea. It's yeah. It's put on the top of a post, isn't it? Probably. Something like Some that. kind of a There's house. There's a hole in there, but you hit your head or something. A uh, house yeah. part. That's yeah. right. It's a hole. Yeah. 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 What does it represent? Carl, what is it? What, what's the significance? The crocodile, you see, is a, is a symbol of danger. It's something in an airport used in exciting the men to the warfare. I mean, it's one of these things that could make you brave. Yeah. Right. And then how? And how about the agency? Oh, I should say it's around 1870 to 1900. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's Good. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Certainly no question about this one. Uh, Vincent was absolutely right. It's Sepik River. That's northeastern New Guinea. Uh, we locate that one on the map first in New Guinea, an area where they are famous for their ghost cult. And this, is, uh, this thing has to do with the ghost cult. And as Carl points out, it's the association of a spirit with the, uh, the spirit of the crocodile with this carving, which is part of a house, the men's house, and it's associated with a ghost cult, as so many of these carvings in the Pacific River region of New Guinea are. Uh, it's another interesting that these South Pacific things, like this, these carvings, are now a great vogue in, in Europe, and many of the museums of Europe are showing uh, collections of specific art of this kind. Well, let's have a look at the next one. We 
looking now at an ancient limestone figure of a hippopotamus with two heads. It's from Egypt and was made sometime during the Ptolemaic Roman period. This was dated between the 1st century B.C. and the 1st century A.D. Exactly the result of zoology, but it's also yeah. art. Well, so, <laughs> it's art <laughs> I thought you'd love this, mm. John. You know, uh, mm. if I guess, I hope you will give it to me. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no. It's a beautiful two-headed dog I just produced in water. No, it's, it's again a crocodile. The two crocodiles. It's a hippo. It's a hippopotamus. Oh, yes, that's hippopotamus. Yes, that's right. Hippopotamus, that's right. Yes, it's hippopotamus. Well, I can't give you this, John. It comes from the Brooklyn Museum in New York. I wouldn't have it. Uh, it, it is a beautiful object. It's Egyptian, Egyptian, late, late dynasty, mother and uh, baby. It's beautiful. I just love it. Well, let me feel of it, Jack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a nice. You're no, quite right, Jack. But it's Dalabas. Is it? No, no, yeah, no, no, no. It's a sand. It's a sand. It's it's sand. Yes, it's yeah. a sand. Yes, it's a sand. Yes, lantern, lantern. Yes, lantern, lantern. Yes, lantern. Yes, lantern. Yes, lantern. I don't think that's from Egypt at all. Is that from Nubia? No, 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 that's David. David, David. Late dynasty. He's right, Carl, but we still have to pin it down in Egypt as the place and time. We do that. Well, it's late dynasty, so I don't know. Well, it's before the present, I'll tell you that. I would be the early. Certainly, early to a present. Middle, you know, in the middle day, but earlier than you say. I would no, say. I should say. No, no I would say later. Time of the Fayon. 18th century. Huh? 18th, 19th century. No, I would say that the 25th century. Uh, what year is that? <laughs> 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 you can't get by this dynasty. Late, late. 1100 to 1000. I would say 1500 B.C. I get a 1500 B.C. No, 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 no
It's not so. It's no, not no, so, no. Look at that. No, it's not like that. No, it's not that it's funny. No, but it's just doesn't sound like it's being a mess. Yeah. It's just, it's just, no, it's maybe. I'm gonna have to say it's pressed against it. Well, it's not, it's been racist. But it's not, it's not one of these. It's about 50 years old. 50 years or more. 50 years old. What about its use? It's used to wear cans on now. What's a thing like this used for? It's a secret society. I think. Bow they aren't a female society. I don't know. Well, yeah, I think they're the female society. An anthropological oh, question. What do you want females to do? Wow, I don't belong to that. They're all alive, you're not alive. No, I don't know anything, but it looks like a female portrait. Oh, yes, that's right. Represents a female in one of the female in the mask gang. Yes. Right. Thank you very much, gentlemen. They certainly hit this one right down in the face. No question about this at all. Ballet, in the Ivory Coast, uh, 19th century. So it's within that 50 years, or almost, anyway. You locate this one on the map uh, on the uh, west coast of, uh, of Africa, the Ivory Coast, Ballet People. Represents uh, a spirit, as indicated, by good or evil, maybe, in one of the those dance performances or dance ceremonies. Well, while our experts have time out here for a reflection, why well, there's an announcement here which I'm sure will interest everyone. Sudden emergency will come along calling for cash in a hurry. United States savings bonds, convertible cash on demand, fill the bill the safe, sure way. Money you didn't save will never save you. But regular amounts set aside every week through payroll savings or bond a month plan will save you and help you save. And now we're back with What in the World and the next one just coming up. We are taken back to ancient times by our next museum mystery. It's a chipped flint spear point from Scandinavia and was made sometime during the Neolithic period. This is dated between 10,000 and 5,000 B.C. Well, Carl, this is your turn. This is in your field, and not in an actor's field, so I think yes, you can give it to Vincent. Well, Carl, this is unfair, yeah. and I'll tell you why it's unfair. Because there's a picture of that very implement in my book. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's cheap. Uh, I mean, I don't know why. Not it's... that one, Carl. It, it looks exactly like it. One like it, but I can show you it's not that. Isn't it? Or no. It? Well, I thought it was home. Mm -hmm. Is it American no. Indian? Right. Well, this is, uh -huh. a, this is a piece, this is a flip knife. Uh, which was made in Scandinavia, mm. probably in southern Sweden or oh. northern Denmark during the Neolithic. And it, it is a beautiful, beautiful pressure plating, and it's very, very similar to the stuff that was made in France and Roman Czechoslovakia during the Corinthian period by the mammoth hunters, mm. uh, the, the so called laurel leaves. But there are so few genuine laurel leaves in this country that it has to be a Scandinavian Neolithic one. Huh. Hmm. I'm sure there'd be no arguments in the rest I of it. I wouldn't even mention it. Yeah, absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Absolutely. laughs> well, Carl, you've got this one so clear. Now, the next problem, how do you date it? Oh, well, it, oh. Uh, it date is quite late it, uh, for the Neolithic. It's around, uh, I should say, it's around uh, between 3000 and 2500 B.C. This is late? It's around 2400 B.C. 2500 B.C. The council of Long Calzones and in Skanda province of southern Sweden. The point being that the Neolithic in the Mediterranean is met much, much earlier, many thousand years. It's 6,000 or 3,000 in the Mediterranean, and then up here it, it starts around, well, I think it's going to start a little older than they thought now. Uh, earlier than that in the Mediterranean. Oh, yeah, but it's around, uh, it starts around 3,000 up there, and it lasts right down until the, the last 600 or 1,000 years. 1,500? You see, these fellows were using print when other people were using bronze because they couldn't get the metal. Oh. You see, they were hard up, you see. It's just like Nothing in Vermont like where they wear sugar yeah, bags and bronze. Right. You're going to argue with this, Jack? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent? I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. 
I should make correct the date given here before, because the date given in the earlier announcement of this were the Neolithic dates of the Mediterranean. And as Carl pointed out, the Neolithic dates in Scandinavia are much, much later. Uh, on the map, we locate this one in Scandinavia. Uh, we don't know exactly where in Scandinavia. Certainly, as Neolithic as Carl has said. Recently, there's been a lot of uh, redating of these periods as a result of carbon-14 analysis of old deposits. And I believe the tendency is to bring the date down in their Can Scandinavia. Isn't that right, Carl? Well, they go up again a little bit. Huh? A little later on. Just in here, yes. yeah. See. They come down, now they're going up again. Okay. But this is a question yeah. of the number of dates they mm -hmm. have in carbon-14 yeah. from that part of the world. Uh, and now we're ready for the next one. Mm -hmm. This animal head, made of volcanic stone, is believed to represent a crocodile. While its exact geographical location is not known, it's thought to have come from Costa Rica in Central America. It was made sometime between the 12th and 15th centuries A.D. Jack, I'm happy to present you with another piece of sculpture. It's beautiful. But what is it? I told you. Look at that. Uh, a lion, uh, yes, of course it's a lion. Yes, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a lion. It's a I don't jaguar. think it's a lion. Jaguar. You think it's a lion, Vincent? I think it's a jaguar. Yeah, El Tigre. El Tigre. Very interesting, huh? It must be American. It's not thank that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, but uh, it must be American. Yeah. Why must it? It must be American. It's got to be American. But what what interests me is it it is it is the stone that uh, that goes on. Very interesting. Very interesting. Why'd you let go of this thing, Jack? That will collapse now. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, that's all right. Pardon me. Let, let, let it pass like that. Well, uh, I've explained that yes, I've explained that in Mexico. Mexico, maybe, maybe, uh, um, um, Seattle or something. Yeah, I, th I think it's Mexico. I think it comes from uh, either from Chichen Itza, which is just something around that area. But this, 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 uh, this stone, this yeah, stone, this, this, this stone. This stone. Oh, well, there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's, there's no material like that. There's a stone. Well, then it's uh, Colima, Caracas. It might be from, it might be Tarascan, yeah. it, uh, it might even be from the Valley of Mexico itself. Mexico, but more like the Tarascan uh, it's too bad it's 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 so it could, it could be, it could be also maybe a Peru. They turn around and see it. It's not sure, it would have to be mm -hmm. huh? But you know, it's too formal. Yes, yes it's too, too. This is uh, too lively. This is, this is too lifelike. And this is so typical of the Mexican thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The tongue, yeah. almost like be, a flower. Yeah, yeah. But it could be, it could be also from maybe Costa Rica. No, no, I don't no, think so. I'll no. buy, I'll buy uh, Mexico, and all the Valley of Mexico. I think Tarasco. But if it's Valley of Mexico, it's, it's from, uh, it's from the Toltec period. It's not that thing. Don't let them talk you out of anything. Jack. Uh, <laughs> I don't talk you out of anything. No, 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 no. It could come from Peru. <laughs> well, the other thing, Jack, had, uh, he, he's being he's being very careful on this one. I never been able to talk Jack out of anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm stubborn. It's not like that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, sometimes I feel that you are right and I can't go. I just can't agree yeah. with you. He hasn't got the scientific argument. Yeah. You, yeah. you think it might be what, Jack? Well, it's anyway, it's uh, American. It's American. Yeah. It's, uh, well, it didn't come from Pennsylvania anyway. Yeah. No, no. We'll all agree on America. There's no yeah. question about that. Yeah. Now, yeah. Are, you, are you happy or not? Well, I'm uh, sort of. <laughs> you, you are sort of happy. So <laughs> I'm not so happy. You see? No, I'm, I'm not, not so happy. I'm happy as a whole. Because flat full of crap. It has, it, has, <laughs> it has something which is, which puzzles me terribly. It's this stone. It's stone. It's this stone. It's, 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 it's maybe it's maybe 
museum is that garbage? What museum is that garbage stuff? Well, we never saw. Yes, you this could say. No, but yeah, yeah, I never thought of it. No, oh, no. Charlie stuff in America. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 in your museum, you have. Uh, yeah, well, I better yeah. go look around our museum. Yeah. Yeah. But not this time. I think it's maybe. Could you don't see so perfectly? You know? I think it won't. You know? What about the age of it? Well, it's the Trip of London. If it's Peruvian, why well, it's free to you in our Yes, you see. If it's Mexican, it's Paltec. Mexico. I don't feel it, Mexican. I don't feel it. You don't feel it, Mexican? I no. feel it. You're not quite sure it's, it's Peruvian either, eh? No, I'm not quite sure. So where would you say that? It's got to come from someplace, Jack. It didn't come out of the plain closet. <laughs> But maybe it was a meteor. Look, it's very interesting. Came over on Francis. I'm really puzzled. I'm really puzzled. Then. That's wonderful that we can tell you that. Yeah. I love it. I sculpted it, aren't you, Carl? Yeah. Oh, I, love it. Love it. <laughs> I love it. Well, one more chance, Jack. You had it, you know, a minute ago. You were almost on it. Yeah. We're on it. You said cross the river. How's that? It's all right. You like that? Yeah. Very Fine. Very nice. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> That was right. It was Costa Rica. They, we almost got tossed out of it, didn't we? Uh, Dr. Rica is what we think. This comes from the Philadelphia Museum of Art in the Ehrensburg collection. I'm going to ask you to locate this one in Costa Rica. And I must say for the panel that this is the best identification we can make. We're not quite sure we all can say it's Central America. And Costa Rica is the best bet on this ground. In the 12th to 15th century in time, which is the period I think that the panel mentioned, they said it was late or just pre Columbian. So I think we should call Jock a complete score on this one. Jock, very encouraging, but very difficult to keep. Difficult. <laughs> I love it. You should give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk to the museum about yeah. that. <laughs> Especially you're not showing it. Good. <laughs> well, let's just take a look at the next one. We place before our panel now a painted pottery effigy jar in the form of a human with a hump back. It's from a tomb at Cocle in Panama and can be placed in time in either the 14th or 15th century A.D. Now, I think we're back to you, Vincent. There's a very peculiar piece of sculpture and clay. Yeah, uh, well, I, I thought at first it was sunk out in the Valley of Lima, but now I don't think it is. I think it's Venezuela. Don't you think it's not from Panama, Vincent? No, I think it's south of Panama. Well, that's all I like to know that, sir. Some, but I guess this stuff is here yeah. different. This is very different. Yeah. And this funny face, this yeah. funny sort of squashed down face. Yeah, yeah. But the sun Oh, you look for the food. Venezuela or no, Ecuador, uh, possibly uh, Ecuador. Or, or, or sometimes a goat from Colombia. What did you say, Jack? Colombia. 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 It's, Colombia. It's in that yeah. district. Yes, yeah, it is. But it, it has a lot of the, yeah. the thing of the yeah. Venezuela people mm. sort of pushed in. Well, yeah. this is, this is, I think, it's, 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 it's a giveaway. It's not mm. real. No, this this no. figure here. Well, I, was like, I was going to, no, no, no. I was going to buy Panama for a No, Don't you like Panama, Jack? No, I don't. I don't like Panama. It Columbia, could be up Columbia. in the very, in the very north maybe, of Panama. Maybe, maybe. I mean, the you north know, of I'm, gonna, I'm going to come back to Panama. Where would you say in Panama, Carl? Uh, mm. Cold clay. Cold clay. It's, it's very yeah. possible. Maybe, maybe. But Do I you like that, Jack? Yes, I don't dislike it. Isn't it you going to stand out again? Yeah, I'm going to stand out again. Good. Stick to your gun. It's always a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> I still think uh, that it can't be cold clay because it's earlier than cold clay. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is from either uh, Colombia, Ecuador, or Venezuela. Mm -hmm. well, that's a terrible well, thank you, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you stuck to it anyway, Vincent, but even though it isn't wrong, it's, just, it's always a good idea. It is Panama, so clay. It is yeah. Panama. Oh. <laughs> you can't really trust me here. <laughs> 14th to 15th century. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> On the map, we're located in uh, in uh, Panama, in so clay province. Uh, it's excavated by Alden Mason, one of our digs there some years ago. Uh, this place is one of, one of the tombs. It comes from tomb B11, so we know this one exactly. Uh, it's where Alden found all that gold treasure, you remember? It's on exhibition, exhibition in the University Museum. 
So play golf. Uh, same thing. Uh, now that one. We journey to Borneo for our next object, is a tobacco pipe made with the Kenya people of Saram in Sarawak. Its time of origin can be placed sometime near the end of the 19th century. And now, Carl, we're back to you. If I look cannons in here. You're not sure it's kitchen where well, but it is a terrible kitchen. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, this is a... Uh, It's a it's bamboo. Huh? It's a pie. Yeah, it's, it's a, a pie. pie. And it's got the. Uh, look at this. This is a jock. I mean, that's a nice well, chicken, isn't it? Yes, yeah. nice, no, very nice. I'm <laughs> afraid our time is pretty near up. Well, yeah. it comes from, it comes from uh, Indonesia or yeah, Indonesia. Yeah. Indonesia. Yeah. Indonesia. 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 Yeah. How do you like that? I think yeah. it comes from yeah. the Philippines or someplace yeah. like that. One of those yeah. yeah. more. Well, well, like that? Thank yes, you, gentlemen. Sir, I got to point it out. Time is up. You're in the right area. It comes from Borneo. From Baram in Sarawak, in North Borneo, the Kenya people. On the map, we locate this one uh, in uh, North Borneo, North Borneo, it's, uh, it's the province of Sarawak, in the 19th century. A tobacco pipe, as Carl pointed out. Well, it seems to me the panel's done a remarkable job, and I'm particularly uh, excited about the way Vincent uh, Price came through here, an actor who really did a job on, on identifying these objects all the way through. <clears throat> I'd like to uh, thank the panel this afternoon. In the first chair, uh, Carl Kuhn, our friend from Hastings on Hudson, the Jack Lipschitz, and an empty chair for the man who isn't here, Vincent Price has just ducked out for his afternoon performance of Black Eyed Susan. And we hope you've enjoyed this as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you, and we hope you'll be looking in again next week when it's time for What in the World. Thank you, and good afternoon. <laughs> Tomorrow afternoon, CBS Television presents Eric Severide on the American Week, a comprehensive, timely close-up on current history, spotlighting the people and perspective of the news. Also tomorrow afternoon, over most of these same stations, you are there for the Battle of Gibraltar. Walter Cronkite and a battery of CBS newsmen cover as spot news events of September 13, 1782, when French and Spanish forces hit the rock with all they had in an effort to wrest it from the British. Another reminder... Monday night on CBS television, don't miss Jackie Gleason in a straight dramatic role on Studio One's Shortcut. Jackie Gleason is powerful as a reformed state senator-elect facing a cleanup job on Studio One Sunday, Monday night.